Hey guys, I am currently editing this video and I realized that I did not film an introduction. So here I am, introducing the video. Welcome to the May Reset. So, as you should know by now, I do these every month. I basically have a list of things that I need to do every month that kind of reset the month and make me feel more productive and, I don't know, just reset the month for me. So, I hope you enjoy. The video will be very much all over the place because I filmed this over the course of this week because I've been extremely busy. So, here we are and here is the video. I'm sorry that it's all over the place. I promise I will be better next month. It was just really inconvenient timing and you know, all of that. So, I should be doing my assignment but instead I'm editing this video for you guys, so. Okay. find the paper towel so I guess we're using a microfiber where did I put the spray on oh my god I'll be back I did want to try and clean my mirror because it is actually filthy. That, but I don't know what to use, so I'm just gonna use this. It says multi-purpose. It says glass and mirrors. Cool. I can use that. <laughs> oh my god, that looks so much cleaner. Oh my god. I don't know if you could tell the difference, but I can. I still can't believe how much cleaner that was. Maybe I'll clean my window. Let's see if that does anything. Oh my god. Oh yuck. I think I will show you how much... I don't think I've ever cleaned my windows. Which... Might be very gross to you. Oh my god. It's actually so gross. cleaning would actually work. This is your sign to clean your windows and your mirror. Look how filthy this rag is too. The more you learn, hey? Alright. I think I'm gonna do some bullet journaling and monthly planning now, so. It's new month, so you know what that means. Time to fill out the bullet journal. Look at it this month. It's like a little travel theme, and I, I wish I was traveling. This is the final reveal. So I've decided to go for a more colorful theme, even though it is winter, because I feel like this is just giving colors. Um, so yeah, that is that section. Um, then we have my habit tracker and mood tracker. Um, that's a blank page. And I'll just show you one of the spreads that was. 
Anyways, so this is an example of one of the spreads. I'm gonna add a lot of colour to it and made it fun. But yeah, there's another one. What should we say? So now I need to finish planning out the rest of my month. Which is using this big old thing to plan out some days, um, some assignments, and all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna plan that out now while I watch some YouTube. My name in someone keeps blocking my way. I can't feel further away. No. Wait on the moment to say that I want you. You know, they like don't want to say you're done. And now I thought I would talk about some goals that I have for the month. Because I've got a few. And one of them is to finish my TBR. I want to write my goals in this, by the way, as well. So if you see me writing, that's where I'm writing it. As we know, I have a book buying a problem. And I just buy books faster than I read books. I feel like this is very common. My goal for this month, especially because I don't have uni, is to really just finish my TBR. My second goal of the month is to not spend any money. I feel like I say this every month, but this month I am really trying. It's not going well so far, but that is because I've had a few things that I need to buy. So we'll see how that goes. My final goal, I've decided I'm only gonna do three goals because I often overdo it, but is to go to the gym three times, three to five times a week. So because I've done some goal setting I am going to create a vision board which I believe I did last month as well and I think it really helped me just visualize you know the autumn vibes and all of that fun stuff so here's the final vision board I'll pop it at the end of the video like I did with the last one in case you want to screenshot it or you can go onto my Pinterest I believe it's Chloe J. 555. Five, five. I need to do my finances for last month because I definitely, this was last month was probably one of my biggest spending months. So I'll show you kind of the layout that I have. So it's, I just use Notion because it's the easiest. Um, so I can put, put a template up if you're really interested. Comment down below if you are because if you're not, I cannot be bothered and I don't know how to do that. Pretty much. I have the date that I made the purchase, then I have some tags like alcohol, car, food, outings, petrol, photography, like shopping, subscriptions, rego, insurance and cheer, then the name of the, I don't know, the company and then how much and then what bank I did it with. So, hello, um, yeah. My bookshelf has kind of gotten out of control. Obviously, in my last video, I had like completed my bookshelf and I got it to a point where I was really happy with it. But ever since then, I've gotten more books. And it's kind of gotten to a point where I need to do something about it. We are going to sort out all of this and possibly change this as well. Which I'm kind of sad about because I was kind of really happy with this, but shit happens. I realized I should have just done it before, but um, here's the before. Plus all of this, yeah, okay. Up the top, we finally have all my books here that aren't borrowed. So these are all my thrillers. And then these are all some fantasy. This is some dystopian. Um, then we have some romance and then, you know, act out, obviously. Um, this is the one that I'm not happy with because I wanted to display this cover because 
If you don't know, the UK version is you and me on vacation and this is the American version and my friend had it, she gave it to me. Oh, love it. Um, but I'm not happy with this shelf. So, I'm like, I'm like kind of happy with this part. It's just this part I don't like. And then it's this, it's just these covers. But I will sort that out. I think I might put them up there and figure that out. But that's for another day. Hello, how are we all? It's time to do my TBR. Okay, there's a few books on my TBR. My plan for the month, which I'll talk a little bit more about in my goals, or I've already talked about in my goals, is that I want to finish my TBR and not buy any books this month, which might be challenging, but you know, we will try. So, first off, we have the Serpent and Dove series which I believe is about witches and a witch hunter and then it's kind of like an arranged marriage situation and they can't find out who each other is because you know they both hate each other because the witch hunter would kill the witch so anyways I'm gonna read this series the next series is The Cruel Prince which I am going to do a little reading vlog video on I don't know I know it's not usually the type of videos I do, but I really want to do one because I love watching them and I thought I could do that, except I am terrible at explaining books, so maybe I can't do that. So that trilogy plus The Stolen Air, which is like, I think it's in the same universe. Next up, we have Akatar. I'm only going to grab the first one. Oh, maybe I'll grab all of them. Oh no, I can't be bothered. Anyways, the Akatar series. I'll grab the box. <laughs> The Akatar series, I want to read them because I have heard so many good things about them. That is another series I want to read. I'm really going to try and get through all my series this month as well and kind of finish them off. So, in saying that, we have the first to die at the end and then possibly rereading They Both Die at the End. I read this in two stars. I DNF'd it um, and I kind of skimmed through it because I couldn't get into it. But I'm thinking if I read this and I like it, then I'll read this. But if I don't like it, well then that's that. Then we have The King of Pride by Anna Huang. And then also the Selection series, which it looks like this will be a fairly easy read. And considering it's six books, five books technically, I think I'll be fine. That's pretty much all of the series that I need to finish. But we also have some other random books that I have yet to finish. So the first one is True Love by Christina Lauren. It's a newer book of theirs. So I am excited to read that because I love all of the other books, surprisingly. Then I want to read the rest of my uh, Taylor Jenkins Rings book that I have, so Daisy Jones and the Six and then Malibu Rising. Then we have a lot of other standalones. So first we have Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmas. And then The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. This one seems pretty short. The Girl by Rachel Lynn Solomon. This was on sale at Dimmix. And do you hear that? Um, I kind of love it. I don't know how, like, usually it's... But this is, it's textured. I don't really know what this is about, but I saw it on Bookstagram like for five, like 0.5 seconds. And I was like, I need to get it. Sometimes I just, um, oopsies, too easily convinced. Then we have The No Show by Beth O'Leary. I have not yet to read any of her books. I don't want to read a lot of them. So that is another one. Then we have The Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. Again, I don't know what half of these books are about. Um, we got The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, which I started, but I need to sit down and read this because I feel like it's a book that can get very confusing. And If He Had Been With Me, which I know is a very sad book. Three more books. So we have The X Talk, again, by Rachel Lee Solomon. I did not realize that was the same author as The Weather Girl. But I've heard good things about it, and I've also, it was on sale at Demix too, so maybe she's getting new covers. I feel like that's what they do. Then we have We Were Liars. Again, this was on sale, and I was like, well, I may as well read it. And it's big fat words. I don't know what it's about, but <laughs> do I ever? Um, and then we have Tomorrow, Tomorrow, and Tomorrow 
um, which I started reading, but I don't know how I feel about it yet, to be honest with you. Then we have the book that I've, I'm still trying to read, which is As Good As Dead. So I think that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching me do my monthly reset. Um, I hope you enjoy these types of videos. I am going to continue doing them every month, whether you like it or not, because I do this anyway. I am planning to put out some more videos this month, so stay tuned for that. You say, you say like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, okay. Like, comment, subscribe, do all those YouTube things you know how to do. And I will see you in my next video. My camera's literally about to die. Okay. Bye. Say bye. Okay, maybe not. <laughs>